Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is the combination gas valve and thermocouple, and how the two work together in order to hold the pilot on. After you have a pilot lit, you can then turn this gas valve to on, and then you can power between here and here at, with 24 volts, and then you can get the main burner to light. All right, but as far as the pilot goes, say, you know, you're holding this button down and you're allowing gas to flow through and you're lighting it and you have a flame and it's just, um, you know, anytime that you let up on this after a minute, two minutes, three minutes, you know, the flame ends up going out. Well, that has to do with either the thermocouple or inside the combination gas valve. There's what's called a solenoid. All right, so this solenoid right here is powered by DC millivolts, and you actually are pressing this down just like this any time that you press this button right here, okay? So you see how I'm depressing this right here? Every time that you do that, you're allowing the gas through. So here's where it enters at, and it comes through, and it's allowed to then go down into the main part of the gas valve. The thing is... Once you let up on this, you want this to be stuck up, okay? So it allows the gas from here down into the lower portion. So, uh, once again, you press this down like this. This solenoid comes down, and what happens is when you heat a thermocouple rod up, it actually sends DC millivolts through right over to here and into the back of the solenoid. The solenoid has two connections, straight down in the middle and the side, okay? And, and the thermocouple has two wires as well. You have the inner wire and you have the outer wire. Here's an example right here. You have the inner wire and the outer wire. And then at the end, you have two dissimilar metals that are welded together in order to uh, connect them. So anytime that you heat this rod up, you're sending DC millivolts over to here. And we're going to go ahead and see how this DC millivolt uh, solenoid works. So we're going to connect this in, and then I'm going to go ahead and heat this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold this down. And this isn't much of a flame, but it should be enough. This is a 30 millivolt thermocouple. Okay, so you see that the solenoid is actually holding itself in. All right, we're going to see that this will pop back open again once that thermocouple rod cools down. All right, so now you see it popped open. All right, we're going to do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to disconnect it here. All right, so now it's holding it again, and we're going to go ahead and disconnect it. You see that? So we just loosened it. Let's tighten it again. Hold it in and see how it holds it. Okay, so that's the function of this solenoid along with the thermocouple. Now let's go ahead and check how many millivolts we have anytime that we're heating this up. All right, so you see we have our multimeter set on AC. We want to go ahead and change that to DC voltage, which is the straight line. So we're going to go ahead and heat this up. As we heat this up, you see the millivolts is increasing right there. Okay, this is a 30 millivolt thermocouple. All right, and this is a very tiny flame that you see. So you see that the voltage is going up. It doesn't take much uh, millivolts in order to hold that solenoid in place. So a larger flame would be able to get around 30 millivolts. All right, so that's what opens uh, the gas to flow through the gas valve and to have the continual pilot flame uh, being lit. Okay. After you have your pilot flame lit, you can go ahead and turn this to the on. And then once again, you can just go ahead and power it with 24 volts. The gas will have been coming through already, 
and being able to get into the correct area of the gas valve and then all you need is that 24 volts and then it will come through to the main burners. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.